APS Films. Another glass? I had one. Today. Just don't understand why you have to drink. I'm not drinking. You just had another glass. Why do you feel this need to control everything that I do? I am concerned. Oh, really? You're concerned? Here we go. Don't do that. I have given you no reason not to trust me. Really? Because I see the way that you talk to your coworkers. They're my coworkers. And your texts back and forth. What's her name again? These are your own goddamn issues that you have to get over. I have been faithful to you, Olivia. Yeah. For now. Okay, so you're gonna crucify me for something I have not done. Meanwhile, I come in here and you're drinking. I'm done. Happy birthday, Dad. So I had to call you, huh? Yeah, I'm sorry. No, I know you're busy. Too busy for your dad. How's your day? How is my day? Well, your mother's taking me out to dinner. Lucky you. So how about you, kiddo? You, uh, doing okay? Yeah. Yeah, I'm fine. Are you sure about that? Miss you? I know I miss you, too. Look, why don't you come home, huh? No, I can't do that. Can't be around her. Hey, sweetheart, hold on one sec. Yeah, can I help you? Dad? Hello? The search continues for famed children's book author Stanley Prescott. We all love him so much. I pray to God that he's okay. But how does somebody like Stanley Prescott just go missing? He's the most important person on the friggin' island. I mean, he's definitely the wealthiest. <laughs> but him and his wife always give back to the community, they, too. They do. They do. I spoke with Father James yesterday. He said don't give up on Stanley. I'll be honest with you. I don't think he's on the island. You think he took off? Don't be surprised if his body washes up on shore. which is some sort of hobby. <coughs> there she finally is. Hello. Olivia. Oh. 
<laughs> Look at you. You have that wonderful baby glow. Beautiful. I thought you would be here by three. Any word? Nothing, no. They're still searching. They're going to find your father. I know it. <laughs> well, probably run off with some whore. Jesus, Susan, don't say such a thing. <laughs> He's never home. Hey, you shouldn't be doing those. It's fine. You know, I remember when I was pregnant, I used to send Chris out in the middle of the night because I was craving pineapples. Yeah, play music for Darren when he was still in my belly. He'd sing to him. Thought about adoption. Oh, well, you know, there's a lot of couples out there that can't have children. Uh -huh. The baby is a blessing from God, and God gave him to us for a reason. Go to the bathroom. Yeah, I know. really think he'd run off with someone else. <laughs> we went out to dinner once, and um, the, his fan, of his, some fan, she was old enough. I mean, she was Olivia's age. The way they talked to each other. Mom, you have no... They used the wrong shade on his face. It's too dark. It's so sweet of you to come. I'm sorry. Thank you. You know Olivia. Thank you for coming. Thank you. I can't bear to talk to anyone else. I. Why don't you get some air? Because I have to be a good host. Olivia, people came all this way to show their respects. Who is that, Olivia? Do you know, standing there? No, nope, I don't know her. <gasps> Were we not just talking about bad makeup? Caked on like a French hooker. Don't do this. It's offensive. Presenting herself that way at my husband's wake. <laughs> completely. Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall tribulation, 
or persecution, or famine, or nakedness, or peril, or sword. As it is written, for thy sake we are killed all day long. We are accounted as sheep for the slaughter. Nay, in all these things we are more than conquerors through him that loved us. For I am convinced that neither death nor life, nor angels nor demons, nor powers nor things present nor things to come, nor height nor depth, nor any other creature shall be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. Your father was such an extraordinary man, Olivia. He touched so many with his with his work. I, I always remember him there at the children's hospital, mm. reading from his books. Yeah. yeah, me too. How long is you stay home? I'm actually leaving tomorrow. I'm having the baby in New York, and I'm doing two days. Two days? Gosh, that's soon. <laughs> well, congratulations. A baby is a blessing from God. So I've heard. You know, I don't mean to be presumptuous, but uh, as you may or may not know, your father was a big contributor with our church. And we'd be fortunate, fortunate and, and grateful if that were to continue. I'll talk to my mother. She stopped coming a few years ago. She didn't say. I know the relationship that Stanley had with Christ. It's what he would have wanted. Then I'm sure it will be in the will, Father. Thank you for the service. It was beautiful. The town's getting zoning in place to put a statue up near the ferry terminal. I mean, you should be proud. Listen, the, the last time I talked to him, our conversation was cut short. I saw that in his statement. Listen, his death was ruled a heart attack. There was no evidence of foul play. It's just that it... It seems strange. We both know how awful cell service is on this island, right? Hey, Chief. Good to see you here. Kellen. Miss Prescott, I just want to say, I'm so sorry. Anyone that goes through something like that, but especially, I mean, Stanley was, you know, an inspiration to me. I grew up reading his books. Thank you. What brings you to this side of the bay? Uh, farmer's market. Well, thank you, Kellen. Yeah. All right. It's a good scene. Nice to meet you. I imagine this kind of thing happens a lot these days. Yeah. I like hearing from people who admired him. It's nice.
Mom, you okay? Olivia, <clears throat> how did the funeral pictures turn out? I don't know. I, I haven't really gone through them. I was thinking about what you said yesterday about Father James shaking you down for money. What an awful thing to say. Everything he's done. Okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna make a, a sizable donation to them after we sell the sailboat. How how much um how much should we give them? Do you think? I don't know. How much is the sailboat worth? Ah. I have no idea. We've got all these things now, Olivia, and I don't I don't know how or who will have all that he's left too. What do you want for dinner? Well, that was fast. And your father's barely cold in the ground. I'm due any day. And I'm having the baby in New York. Yes, well, you've cut your mother completely out of that process, haven't you? God, Mom, not everything is about you. I am all alone. I'm all alone now. Taking Dad's car. Good evening, miss. Can I grab you a uh, sparkling water to start? Actually, could I grab a glass of Malbec? Yeah, sure. Hi. Kellen. We met earlier at the coffee shop. Farmer's market? Yeah. Right. Yeah. Small world. You know, the ferry doesn't run after seven. You're about to be stuck on the mainland. Mind if I sit? We have a mail back for the lady. And will you be joining us this evening as well, sir? Um... All right, how about a drink? Of what she's having. And an order of the ricotta and brazley Cristini. Perfect. How's that sound? Look at you, you are just glowing. <laughs> and you have a lovely smile. God, I'm, I'm making it awkward. All right, tell me, you're not going back to the island, where are you going? I live in New York. New York? Mm -hmm. I've never been there. How is it? You love it. It's a, uh, you know. No, I don't know. <laughs> what else? I don't know, it's a, it's a big city. Lots of buildings and subways and... You are so descriptive. <laughs> <laughs> I'm all back for you. Awesome. And a menu. Thank you. Well, what now? How about a toast? To men like your father, who've changed the lives of so many people around the world. Including me. Cheers.
Thank you for saying that. Well, it should be said. You're gonna have to forgive me when I say I really envy you. You know, you're about to start this incredible journey. And there's something about being a parent I've noticed, especially in mothers. You know, they possess this unconditional love. It's really incredible to see. Now, I hope to one day have that for someone. I'd do anything to be in your position, to be a father. If you'll just excuse me, I'm gonna use the restroom really quickly. Oh, hi. Baby bladder, yeah. <laughs> I'll save you, Christini. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> I gotta say, you have lived a full life. <laughs> and now you're gonna be a mother. Yeah. And you're gonna be a great one. <laughs> and your daughter is gonna get the best of everything, you know? Uh, experiences and schools, and she's gonna travel the world. And... Not end up in Maine. Yeah, that's what I was trying to say. <laughs> Uh, it's not a bad place to come back to, though. Sure. And she will go back to the city. Now, that's her. Kind of strange to think about. Which, you know, who knows? It's, well, it's not what you had. <laughs> and maybe better. Yeah. What I had. I am bringing a baby into this world. And I don't want to end up like my mom. <laughs> and Greg. Greg is great. You know, he's a really good guy. and He's gonna be a good dad. But, you know, it would just crush me if I broke him. Like my mom broke my dad. There's just a lot of unhappiness there. the first time I've ever said that out loud. Well, it takes a lot of strength to say that. I've always believed that strength is something that comes from with it. You okay? Lord cries when you say that. Oh, um, uh, hey, can we get a check? It's okay. Is everything okay here, sir? Yet? Yeah, everything's just fine, thank you. What should you have to drink? Have one glass of wine. One glass? Oh, all right, just relax. Come on, honey. Uh, sir. Oh, right. Um, uh, this should take care of everything. I think she's going into labor. Labor? <laughs> should we call an ambulance? No, 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 I have it, thank you. I guess she's going into labor. She's gonna have a baby. She's gotta have a baby. Okay, right through here, honey. Let's go. Sir, 24, please. Thank you. Okay, honey, we're gonna get you home. We'll be fine. Still good? Yeah, you have a pregnancy sickness. Thank you. That's us. Come on. Right in there, honey. All right, watch your head. Just
good. You okay? Yeah, 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 yeah. It's just, you know. You had anything to drink tonight? No, sir. Who's this now? I was just taking her home. We were uh, having supper at the, the restaurant. She fell asleep. She's pregnant. She's a friend of yours? Yes, sir. Family friend. What restaurant? What's that? What restaurant? Oh, the, the Lucio's. The Lucio's. They make a mad chicken parm. Yeah, yeah. I hadn't had anything there that I didn't like, actually. <laughs> hey, you know, I got a friend over there. Steve. Yeah, Steve. Yeah, oh man, he makes a Manhattan out of this world, I'm telling you. Uh, not that I have one tonight. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you mind if I wake her up? No, I don't mind. Sure, go ahead. She might, though. <laughs> yeah. I'll let the lady sleep. Save you some trouble, right? Oh, appreciate it. <laughs> All right, you got it from here? Yeah, I think so. All right, I'll wait over here till you're done. Appreciate it. Thank you. You have a good night now. You too, officer. How you feeling? The 
It's a glass of water next to you. What happened? You got sick. At the restaurant? Sick. Yeah. Well, that's my mother. I would have taken you home, but I didn't know where you lived. You couldn't tell me. I'm sorry, I don't remember what happened. Tell you what, we'll talk everything over at breakfast. Where's my purse? Let's talk first. I have to go. Mmm. You smell that? Not there. Not there either. Back to the window. Thank you. Uh, Regina? Olivia said thank you. Yeah, I heard her. I apologize. Paper's on time. Charlie, this is Olivia. That chair is always empty. That's okay, Charlie. She's going to be joining us for breakfast. friend? She is our friend. Well, we know one thing. You didn't get her pregnant. That's not appropriate. I'm sorry. It's okay. <laughs> Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father. Why have you been following me? with you and I apologize that is to say I knew your father Regina knew your father Charlie is your father's son I swear to God, if you talk Please about my dad, Please do not use the Lord's name in vain in this house. Jesus, okay, I'm leaving. Damn it, sit! Now! Sit. Now. I'm so sorry. Listen, I know this is hard to hear. Especially that Stanley's been paying us off to keep this quiet. As you can see, it hasn't been much. But we're humble servants of God. We don't need much, do we? But the fact remains, Charlie has a legal right to what's been left for you. He is Stanley's flesh and blood. Bullshit. Okay, well, I'd say the same thing if I was sitting where you're sitting, but imagine what the headlines would say if we went to court. I didn't want to do that. I came to you first because I think that you deserve the courtesy of choosing 
to do what's right. And the opportunity to meet your brother face to face. One way or another, you're gonna give me half of that inheritance so I can give Charlie the life he deserves. Charlie? Charlie? I told him it was a bad idea to bring you here. Soon you'll find out what it's like to bring a child into this world alone. Only difference is, you'll be able to afford it. truly sorry about the pain of your father's betrayal. I pray God gives you the strength to do what's right. Give place unto wrath. Vengeance is mine to repay. Olivia, your father was a monster, but he's given you an incredible gift, this opportunity. I was 15 when I had Callan. Did my best. Any bruises? No, and I checked the baby's heart rate. It's fine. You ordered a blood and urine test? Of course. Okay. Listen, Olivia, I'm sorry. I gotta run through this one more time. When you woke up, you were fully clothed. Yes. And then what happened? And then his mom made me breakfast. Regina? Yes, Regina. Why didn't you leave then? Because he didn't give me back my purse yet. And then what? And then he threatened me. How so? He said, vengeance is mine to repay. I think it's from the Bible he wouldn't stop talking about it. Why would he say that? Vengeance, vengeance is mine. I don't know. Okay, look, I gotta be honest. I don't have enough to charge him with anything. I'll do what I can to make sure he leaves you alone. Olivia! What are you doing here? I thought you were going to New York to have your baby. You know, I deserve some respect and a little consideration. I have just lost my husband. God. You have always been the most competitive, manipulative. You pitted your father and me against each other for years. You did that. That was you, Mom. God, you even blame me for Dad cheating on you. 
your father hated me because of you. No, he didn't. Yes, he did, because he wanted a son. And after you were born, I couldn't give him one. Then why'd you stay? Because it was my duty. I sacrificed everything for you. Well, I didn't ask you to do that. So you don't get to hold that over my head for the rest of my life. When you have your child, then you will know how I feel being your mother. Chief? Kellen. <clears throat> Thank you, Susie. And uh, a beer for the young man. You need to leave Olivia Prescott alone. I don't know what you're talking about. Is there something wrong? <clears throat> so what happened last night? Oh, I ran into her at supper. You just happened to run into her. <laughs> I go to Delucio's all the time. Great chicken palm. You know Steve, the bartender? Okay. Well, okay, so let's get one thing clear. She asked me to join her. I didn't want to be rude, I am wise. She's very pleasant. A couple laughs. She's really charming. Then she got sick. And I took her home. She thinks she did more than just take her home, Kellen. possibly do. Old habits die hard. I've paid for my sins. I've changed. She went to go see Dr. Baker this morning. They called me. You better pray to God those tests come back negative. You understand me? Enjoy your beer. Hey. Hey, is it time? Hello? No. Is, is everything okay? Uh, I 
I've been trying to call you. I know. Do you need anything? No, I'm fine. Good morning. Good morning. Can I help you? Yeah. Uh, so sorry to bother you, Miss Prescott. Uh, we haven't actually formally been introduced, but I'm a friend of Olivia's. Uh huh. Hello. I, I know it's early again. Yes. <laughs> it's quite early. Again, I apologize. You see, there was this misunderstanding the other day, and I wanted to come by, and I'd love to talk to your daughter and just clear everything up. And those are some lovely earrings, might I add. Wow. Uh, thank you very much, that was a gift. Uh, Olivia is asleep right now, so uh, I will tell her that... Kellen? Kellen, I will tell her that Kellen stopped by. Great. Good to see you. Oh, you know what, Miss Prescott? Uh, I got on the first ferry over this morning. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's not easy getting on this island. No, the ferry's the only way, yeah. Yeah. So if you wouldn't mind, I'd prefer to just come inside and wait. I hadn't gotten to my prayers yet this morning. And I uh, won't be any trouble, I assure you. I'm sorry, you want to come into my house to pray? Yeah, I'm a member of the Mother of Mercy Church right across the bay. Perhaps you know Father James? I do know Father James. <clears throat> yeah. He's a mentor of mine. Is he now? Well, please come in. So sorry to hear about Stanley. He was quite the man. Thank you. I've heard this property is breathtaking, but the rumors don't do it justice, Miss Prescott. Well, it was Stanley's dream, his design. <clears throat> Feels empty without him in it. Oh. I'm sure the Lord will find a way to fill it with comfort. Yes, Stanley was the pride of Dark Harbor, <laughs> wasn't he? Yes, he was. Did you know him? Who didn't know Stanley? And how do you know Olivia? Longtime friends. Really? She never mentioned you, but don't take it personally. She doesn't tell me much. <laughs> oh, it's okay. I'm sure she's under a lot of stress with a baby soon to arrive. Mm-hmm. Well... I don't think a baby was much on her agenda, whatever she thought her agenda might be. I don't think she would have continued the pregnancy without the influence of the boyfriend, who is now the ex-boyfriend, I think. I don't know. It's hard to keep track.
It's nice to meet a young man who has such an appreciation for music. Well, I'd love to play another, but that's the only song I know. <laughs> it's a good start. You know, when I play, I try to imagine that each of the notes is my inner music. Hello. I'll make some coffee. I'll be back in a minute. You went to the chief. Why? What did you do to him? I took care of you. I was concerned about the baby. It'll just be another minute or two. I'm afraid I have to go. I'll tell Father James you said hello. It's a pleasure meeting you, Miss Prescott. I'll walk you out. I don't know what else to do, Father. I've never seen a sign so clearly. I, I don't think you understand. No, Father. I understand everything now. So if, if you have respect for the church... And you have respect for me, then you'll do as I say and you'll leave the Prescotts alone. How can you side with them? I'm not siding with anyone. I'm protecting you. From yourself. <laughs> you think you're my savior now? Faith is something that takes a lifetime to understand. I'm beginning to question your convictions, Father. Let me ask you something. I was three months in. I had a bullseye on my back from day one. The woman I raped had a brother in my cell block. What are the odds? On a Sunday morning, they cornered me in the showers. I figured I was gonna catch a beating. Maybe they'd teach me a lesson. Then they may even have their way with me. But instead, I saw a blade. It's funny, at first I couldn't feel a thing. I just watched the blood flood down my leg. Has anything like that ever happened to you, Father? Mm, no. It hasn't. So when you talk about understanding faith, no amount of time compares to an experience like that. You have a lot to learn, Father. Hey, Regina. Robert? What happened? I fell. That so? Yeah. What can I do for you? I spoke with Kellen last night. I need to talk to him again. Is he here? No. You call me immediately if he stops by. Is he in trouble again? Call me, Regina. I didn't want to believe a single part of what he said, but when I looked into Charlie's eyes, I just... I, 
I saw this piece of myself. What do you suppose it is that frightens you about the idea of Charlie being your brother? My entire life has been a betrayal. Yet I never really knew the man that I loved most. You know, Olivia, you, your father was protecting you. He knew what having an illegitimate child would do to your mother. And in turn, how that would affect you. Your father wasn't perfect. He loved in ways he shouldn't have. He, um, he asked me to set up a trust for Charlie. And I did. You, you see, your father was concerned that Regina wouldn't be able to manage the money herself. I kept your father's secret. That's why I approached you the way I did at the funeral. And I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry you had to find out the way you did. It's not right, Father. It's not always about how others define what's right. Humanity is choosing what's best for others. Now, if you want, if you're not comfortable with the situation, you can build your own trust. It's not about the money. I have a brother. Yeah. Hello? Olivia, hi, it's Chief Sanders. Listen, Dr. Baker got the results back from your blood test. They did find traces of Ruth in your system. I'm sorry. Okay. We need to talk about Charlie. I need to make sure that Charlie is provided for. I'm going to do everything that I can for him. The child support? It will continue. <laughs> but I want to do more for him. We want Charlie safe. Just until Kellen is in custody. It's not safe here. You know, I offered to have an abortion when I got pregnant with Charlie, but your father wouldn't let me. Did he love you? He loved you. Hey, you, you take Charlie. I'm gonna stay here, and I'll call Chief Sanders as soon as Kellen gets home. Okay. Thank you. Are you okay?
Where's Charlie? Chief Sanders is looking for you. Oh, okay. Now he's gonna put you away for good count. I'm trying to get this family what we deserve. You're ruining everything for Charlie. Charlie, he's your father! You're not his father! <laughs> Charlie! Where's Charlie? He's not here. You gave him the press cuts, did you? Yeah, I did. Why? I'm not gonna let you ruin his life! Olivia doesn't even want her own daughter. They're sinners! Yeah, look at you casting stones! I wish I had aborted you when I had a daughter! Mom, this is... Hello, Charlie. I've known for years about all the money and all the lies and all the women. And you two thought you were so clever, didn't you? That son of a bitch was never faithful. You knew. You knew and you covered it up for years. <sighs> Shame on you. He was brilliant, and he meant so much to so many. He lit up every room that he walked into, and everybody loved him. And I loved him. So I kept it quiet. I didn't say anything. But it was my silence that started eating away at me until it hurt you. As you grew up, I grew more and more distant. And you didn't deserve it. You didn't deserve it. I'm sorry. I, I'm sorry, I... I'm sorry, too. Oh, you have nothing to be sorry about. Nothing. I'm Susan. Hello? Charlie, why don't you come over here and look at these books? I think you'll find them very interesting. Olivia, where are you? I'm home. Listen, we 
found Regina Newhall almost beaten to death at her home. They're rushing to the hospital right now. Kellen's still missing. What? She has another son, Charlie. He's missing too. Uh, he's here. Excuse me? Charlie's here. I have him. He's safe. I'm on my way. Don't move. Olivia. Yeah. Stay inside. Keep the doors locked. I'll be there as soon as I can. What's happened? They're taking Charlie's mom to the hospital. And they're still looking for Kellen. Kellen? Who, who was here? Yeah. He's Charlie's half-brother. Chief Sanders is on the way, so we should be ready to go when he gets here. My mom used to read these to me when I was younger. I don't think we have any of them anymore. Your father was a monster. Olivia! Come with me. Come on. Come on. Keep breathing. Breathe, sweetie. Breathe, sweetie. Just breathe, sweetie. Just breathe. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I'm here. Charlie, come lock the door behind me. It's okay. I've got you. I've got you. Okay, okay, hold my hand. Hold Mama's hand now. Squeeze, squeeze. Kellen? Nothing to be afraid of. It's about time. It's about time. Look at me. I want you to bear down. I want you to push. I want you to push. Push, Olivia. Push.
Everyone okay? She's fine. They're fine. Everything's fine. Charlie, why don't you come over here and stand with me? Let's leave the boy out of this. Hmm. I'm not talking to you. Charlie, come over here. No, no, I, I want to go home. I want to show you something, buddy. Leave the boy alone. Father, you don't know what the boy needs. God knows what he needs. And I'm doing God's work. Do you really believe that? Once upon a time, there was a boy named Kellen who took beaten after beaten after beaten. Needless to say, his daddy was a real piece of shit. Then one day, along came a man named Stanley. Stanley had the opportunity and the means to help Kellen and he chose not to help him. Why not? What kind of sick prick immortalizes a kid as a worm? I ask you. Days rolled on until Kellen came to collect. And Stanley was eaten by worms and breathed his last. You killed him. You killed my husband. Oh, I wanted to. The old coward had a heart attack. And it was let down. But God knew what a man he was and delivered him to me as an offering. And all was made right. Uh -uh. No! Let's put it down. I don't want to do this. So weak. You're not going to pull that trigger. Kellen, let's stop. I'll put it down. I'll put it down.
has been delivered to me. Go fetch us a bowl of water. Priest James, I'm gonna need you to get up. Olivia, you too. Time for the bed. Come on, come on, come on. Good boy. Olivia, I'm gonna need you to stand, please. As John the Baptist came forth from the wood, and they thought him mad. So, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, I christen you Charlotte McKinley Prescott. Okay. Still having nightmares. I think we always will. Look after my mom for me. Of course. Of course I will. How about your father? What about him? You think you'll find it in your heart to forgive him?
forgiveness, Olivia. It's the best medicine for the heart. You be well now. Take care of yourself. You take good pictures. You all packed for the city? Yeah. Hey, Charlie, can I see that? <laughs> 